Okay, good. All right, ultimate last time. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is programmer Mitch. This is a leak code 344 reverse string. It's write a function that takes a string as input and returns the string reversed. Example, given s equals hello, return O-L-L-E-H. It's a leak code, easy. It's not that long, but we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do four different approaches to it. So how you would do this in Python is just return s colon colon negative 1, just like that. And let's go ahead and see. I think I just ran that before. I have been having a little bit of technical difficulties this, this stream, but I think everything's been sorted out. So you return that. And that's how you kind of do this. But if you're in an interview setting, you probably wouldn't want to do this. Uh, they probably want to see you dive a little bit deeper into the problem. So one way to, to uh, one step a little bit deeper is to cast this string into a list uh, or an array, as most languages call them. Uh, reverse that array and then join it back together into a string. So let's go ahead and do that. So you just say list of s is, is this. That's making that a list. Then you do reverse of that list, and so this would give us something like, you know, sorry, I'm getting I'm going back and forth from JavaScript and Python, getting a little confused. So this would give us at this point would be O L L E H, something like that. And then, of course, we want to just join that back together. So let's go ahead and see if that works. Can't hear me. Okay, you can't hear me. Thanks. I've, I've, I've had some technical difficulties. Okay, so now we can uh, try this join. And that one works as well. Um, probably a little bit more standard is just thinking, okay, you walk through with a for loop starting at the end of the list, and you have a return string, and you just add every character from the end to the start, and then there you are. So let's go ahead and code that one out. So we have a blank return string. Uh, then we say for i in range of length of what? So starting from the end, we want to do uh, length of s minus 1. Uh, by negative steps, negative one steps, to the negative first thing because uh, for loops in, in, in Python and most languages, um, they start inclusive, but they end exclusive, right? So we don't actually get to the negative one, we only get to the zero. And then all we have to do is say, well, that return string uh, for every, uh, every index in this for loop, we'll just take what we're doing. So we're already counting backwards, and then we just return that return string. And let's go ahead and submit that. So that's good. Uh, so those are three quick ways. Let's do the fourth. Uh, it wasn't asked, but can we do this in place uh, without use of extra memory? So what does that mean? And I want to take a swig of P. So that means that the array, we uh, do not create an additional string. Uh, we use the, the current one, and then we return that. So let's think about how we could do that. Um, one way to do that, or a nice way to do that would be, okay, you have your start element, your end element, and you swap them, and then you move elements ahead. Something that's a little bit tr got tricky with that is, okay, well, if you swap one, you kind of lose access to it. You lose that to you overwrite it. So you can use a temp, something called temp variable. So let's go ahead and use that method. So we have a start. And, and the start starts at the beginning, and the end starts at the end, which is like the best uh, minus one. We also say that uh, s is list of s, so we say that's an array, or we cast that to an array. And then while start is less than end, when these cross, we want to we want to stop going. Then we we keep the temp the start in place because next up we're going to reassign it to the end, and then the end, of course, becomes that temp. Then the start is in incremented, and the end is decremented, and you just return s. Not quite, right? Uh, we want to join that together, because at that point, it's in a reversed array, but not a string. So we want to join those together like this, join s. So let's go ahead and see that. And let's see if this works. Good. So that's another method of doing it in place without use of extra memory. 
And let's tighten this up a little bit, because in Python you can uh, assign these, you can get rid of the use of a temp variable because you can just do that all in one line. And that's just s start s end equals s end, or I shouldn't say equals, but this equal sign is an assignment operator, uh, s start. So that should also work. Cool. So that was four or maybe five different ways of looking at reversing a string. Uh, just an order is the probably the preferred method of using square brackets, colon, colon, negative one. Um, one step further is, is casting uh, the string to a list, reversing that list, and then joining it back together. Uh, another method is walking through with a for loop from the end of the string and then adding each character as we see it to a return string. And this last one we just saw is using the same string in place and then swapping the, the uh, elements from the start and the end and then moving those a little bit closer. So it just shows you that you know programming, there's a lot of different ways to, to maybe solve uh, the same problem. And, and different solutions can have different benefits for different situations. So this is programmer Mitch uh, doing another practice problem and data structures and algorithms in Python. I do them every Sunday at 5.30 p.m. And I hope to see you next time. Catch you later.